Hey, what's going on? I'm Kevin Dorval checking in with you, and I found some information uh, regarding the strip club that you will find extremely interesting. Now, would you believe me if I told you that when you go to a strip club, you're actually participating in an ancient ritual? A ritual that is going on for like thousands of years, actually. And it's worshiping Baal, Baal Pur. In the Bible, Baal, B-A-A-L, is considered Satan um, sometimes. Or it's just uh, considered as an idol. Now, Baal means husband or owner. Um, Baal Pur, which you'll see in a couple of scriptures I'm going to mention to you. Uh, poor P O E R means the cliff, the opening. Therefore, Baal is considered the Lord of the opening, Lord of the cliff. Cliff meaning virgin, vagina. Now, when you go into, let's go straight, let's go straight into the word. Why not? If you don't have a Bible, go ahead and get your Bible. We're going to read in Psalms 106, verse 28. And it says, Then our ancestors joined in the worship of Baal at Por. They even ate sacrifices offered to the dead. They angered the Lord with all these things, so a plague broke out amongst them. Now, this plague that I'm talking about that happened uh, 24,000 Israelites were killed by this plague. 24,000. And I'm going to go more into detail in another scripture about that. Now, Ashura is a pagan goddess that is um, believed to have been either the wife of Baal or the mother of Baal. But Baal worshipped Ashura. And whenever there was a temple, not always, but the people who worshipped Baal, whenever they had a temple to worship um, this demonic spirit, uh, this deity, they used a pole to represent Ashura. That's where the strip club comes in. Now, I'm going to get to my point, but just, just, just bear with me a little bit and we're going to work it out. Now... The pole represents an erect penis, um, a phallus. That's the symbol of it. She, Ashura, was the uh, symbol of fertility. That's what she represented. And that's why in the temples they had this erected either a wood with a goddess on the top of the wood or next to it. Now, on top of it makes sense because if that's a penis, you have a woman at the, the top or the end of the penis. Now, how do you worship um, Baal? You worship Baal by uh, sexual orgies that they were having, like the Moabites, the Moab um, women. They were having orgies out in the woods in these temples, and this is how they worshiped this demonic spirit. You follow what I'm saying? Just like we worship God in church, we worship God at home, our lifestyles is a worship to God, the King of Kings, Lord of Lords. Now, demonic individuals and demonic spirits, they have their way of worshiping their God as well. They Now, people consider God, it, it can be whatever. It could be a, a car, could be a God of some people. Um, their watch, their money, you know, their women could be a god, you know what I'm saying? But there's only one King of Kings, Lord of Lords, one almighty God that's overseen us from heaven, that's omnipresent, omnipresent. Now, don't get that twisted. So when you hear these rappers and singers on stage, oh, yeah, um, I want to thank God for uh, blessing me with this award. Think for a second. What God are they talking about? You know what I'm saying? Like, are you really talking that all this cursing you're doing and sexual um, behaviors and promotions and the way you wear your clothes, the way you talk, cursing all the time? 
Are you talking about the, the, the King of Kings, Lord of Lords? Of course not. They're not talking about that God. They're talking about the devil. That's who they worship. Where, whoever you worship, that's who your God is. You understand what I'm saying? Now, when you go into a strip club, now this is something that I ascertained recently. When you walk into that, that dark place and you have the, the poles representing uh, the goddess of utility, Asherah, and then you have the woman there, which represents the cliff, and her vagina is a cliff. C L E F T. That opening, and she's on the stage, dancing around, flipping on the the poles and everything. You know, booty shaking, looking all nice and good, and you're not even realizing, but you're being put into a trance. And then the music and the liquor also kicking in. Not even realizing, but you're worshiping Satan at that very moment when you step in there. Now, where did I come to that correlation? Well, I thought I was just explaining it, but I go a little deeper into it. When a woman's on that stage now, she is the idol. The woman becomes an idol. The Lord of the opening, Lord of the cleft, Lord of the vagina. Now she's on stage and you're worshiping her, being fans of her. Fan is the root word of fanatic. Fanatic, excessive or zeal, enthusiasm towards um, anything could be political, religion, or in a temple, which is where it originated from, the word fanatic. Now, She's the center of attention and it's your job to please her. And that's what the whole seduction of Baal worshipping was. The worship of Baal um, was a, a, a ritual of seduction. You see what I'm saying? And so what they'll do is men will get sodomized, um, you know, eating, eating the cliff, eating the woman out. Um, they're eating each other um, booty holes out. I mean, it's, it's, it's all kinds of sexual, um, demonic. I mean, it's just, it's an abomination to God. Like, he cannot, God cannot stand that. And I'm going to go into Corinthians. And I want you guys to um, follow with me to Corinthians 6 verses. You can start from 12. Well, what, what I really want you to realize is that your body is a temple. We are mind, body, and the spirit in that body. So when we do these sexual acts outside of marriage, where sex and, and lovemaking and intercourse is only made for marriage, we are violating our mind, our bodies, and our spirits. Now, in Corinthians uh, 6.15 it says don't you realize that your bodies are actual parts of Christ should a man take his body which is part of Christ and join with the prostitute so whenever you join with someone they have that, that spirit of fornication that evil spirit or whatever spirit that is greed or whatever you join with them you just join a, com a communion with them you worship them by don't even know it and once I realized that I'm like wow I can't be I can't have sex before marriage. You know what I'm saying? I can't be worshiping God um, on, on Thursday nights I go to church and Sundays I go to church and sometimes Saturday morning prayers. But then I'm fornicating, worshiping the devil at the same time. You can't, we can't worship two gods. It has to be one or the other. So we have to make a conscious decision. Because right now, there is a battle over the souls of America. Right now. What, you know, with the homosexuality going on, all these crazy different laws they're trying to teach our kids about homosexuality in the schools, in the books, um, the laws being passed, gay marriages, um, um, man to man, woman to woman, uh, constitutes as a marriage. Come on, man. Wake up. Look at the signs. Like, seriously, though. Like, like real talk. Think about it. Now, we're also going to go into Psalms 106, verse 28. And this is what we're going to wrap it up with you. Then... As I had said earlier, then our ancestors joined in the worship of Baal. They even ate the sacrifices offered to the dead. Who who gonna eat their people? 
dead things that are made to sacrifice. That is, is just straight up ridiculous. Now, our next scripture we're going to go to is how um, the actual ritual in itself. Now, I just read to you Psalms 106 and also Corinthians uh, 15. But now we're going to go into Numbers 25 verse 1. Um, through four, actually through five. Now, while the Israelites were camped at the Arsia Grove, some of the men defiled themselves by having sexual relations with local Moabit women. These women invited them to attend sacrifices to their gods. So the Israelites feasted with them and worshipped the gods of Moab. In this way, Israel joined. They created a soul tie. They joined. Once they had sex with these women, they had an intercourse with them. They joined in the worship of Baal of Por. P-E-O-R. I've seen it spelled other way as well. Causing the Lord's anger to blaze against them. The Lord issued the following command to Moses. Seize all the ringleaders and execute them all. It's straight up. So his fierce anger would turn away from the people of Israel. So Moses ordered Israel judges, each of you must put to death the men under your authority who have joined in the worshiping of Baal Pura. So in order to save the rest of Israel, God was like, look, find the ringleaders, the people who led them to be with these Moab women who were worshiping Baal. Now, when you go now, I noticed... Many strippers may be watching this video. Many people who go to strip, club, strip clubs could be watching this video. You know what I'm saying? I'm not hating on you. I used to uh, host a strip club. I used to host it for about, you know, six months. And, uh, you know, I'm not proud of it. Today, it's been about five years. You can't get me to a strip club. Even before I even knew this information. Before I became privy to this information, I was messing with strip club because to me it felt as if I was taking 10 steps backwards if I was to walk into a strip club. Therefore, I'm not messing with it. Why would I do that knowing what I know now? Now, it's good to enjoy a woman, but enjoy a woman spiritually. Now, see, we are meant to date women on a spiritual level, not physically you know, kissing and having sex and, and all of that. Because you ruin a, a pretty good thing. You're creating a unhealthy soul tie. Now, you might be truly in love with each other. But eventually, you're going to have to dissect that relationship. And either go your separate ways temporarily. Or decimate the whole relationship. Because you've been worshiping God the whole time. Which you know God ain't with. Because I just showed it to you within the word. Now, in uh, Leviticus 18, there's all a bunch of laws of how God did not, um, did not like the sexual uh, immoralities that were going on in the land of Canaan and Egypt. So he, he gives them all. Don't have sex with your mom, your brother, uncle, your sister, and all that. We don't need all, we don't need all that. We need the word. Of course, we need, we need the word, but you know the difference between right and wrong. You know that. But anyway, God bless you. I'm Kevin. Um, check me out. I'm going to have make another a video on soul ties and other uh, you know things dealing with spirituality. God bless you. Love you.